ladies and Jill go back to the channel so in addition to the um, the channel we do now it's how I, th I think anyway that can't remember the title off the top of my head probably it's something like how the Celts did over international duty um, it's the final international kind of games tonight and tomorrow uh, Scotland play Fairy Islands but I'm going to review what we've you know what the Celts have done uh, with their international team so far anyway because why not because really tomorrow night it's Fairy Islands I don't think, I mean, Japan are playing in Australia. Kyogo versus Rogic. <sighs> That's a tough one. But we'll discuss what the international players have done so far. So Kyogo started on the bench this so is Thursday um, for Japan, but was subbed on uh, in, on the 59th minute in the 1 0 defeat against Saudi Arabia. Tom Rogic started in Australia's 3 1 1 over Oman was subbed off in the 63 minutes, so you can see there, you know, Logic can't last a whole 90 minutes. Um, you so it's, he, he's still that player, and I think he's just got used to that now, that Celtic fans got used to, he can't, he can't not last a full 90 minutes, so it's disappointing. Um, and under 21, Stephen Wilson and Adam Montgomery both started in Scotland's 1-0 defeat against Denmark in their Euro 20, um, in their Euro qualification, so that's tough for Scot Scotland under 21 to take. Um, Celtic B winger uh, Roscoe Vata started in Ireland's under 17s in their 5 0 win over Andorra. He got himself a goal and an assist. Well done to him. Uh, congratulations to Tom Rogic, uh, who earned his 50th cap for Australia t uh, on when was that? Friday Friday night as they defeated Oman, as I say now, sorry. So, you know, the way Australia time works and all that stuff, a 3 1 in the World Cup qualifying. Um, I'm trying to think it now, so we'll try and get it up for you. So an answer to obviously. So Cal McGregor started and played the full ninety, so it'll do the world the good for him getting back up to match speed. Obviously through that injury a couple of weeks ago, uh, against in uh, Scotland's three two one against Israel. David Tomo was an unused sub. Maybe we'll see him tomorrow against Fed Islands because obviously, um, the, the team that played against Israel will be knackered because they played an absolute to get back in the game against Israel. Israel, sorry, I, absolutely fantastic. I mean, brilliant. The, 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 even for a Scotland fan to watch, it was a, the best Scotland game I've watched in a while, or probably the worst, the best Scotland game ever, to be honest with you, uh, in my, my time anyway. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I, I think so, because it's got to be, um, you know, it was entertaining, uh, it was end to end stuff to the bonus way, and to get a 94th minute winner from Scott McDominay, it was a lovely cross in from John McGinn, and I kind of say that my, myself, but Al McCoy's put it right. Um, you know, if you put if you go to your cell at the back post, you, you're always going to kind of get goals, and that's what happened to Scott McDominay. And it was brilliant, cause brilliant to see, because um, obviously you get a new set piece, piece, piece co um, coach in, um, the ex Hearts guy that he used to be with, with Craig Levine. Yeah, I thought he was good. Um, and obviously, the brilliant the scenes for it full time, the 50,000 fans at Hamden. So, so it's the biggest attendance I've seen at Hamden for a Scotland game in a while. And I don't mean talking a while, I'm talking like maybe even like the England game. Like the Scotland game back in 2018. Maybe, maybe I'll go back to then then. But Cam McGregor going Celtic level. Uh, brilliant. The passes, the tackles he made. The couple of passes he made was absolutely excellent. I mean, to, to turn and drive and it was brilliant. It was absolutely brilliant the way the position uh, Steve Clark put him in and... Uh, fair play to him, he played 90 minutes, which he needed because obviously that injury a couple of weeks ago really dealt Celtic a ball because we didn't have anybody, you know, at the same level as McGregor to, and that's down to depth, and obviously nobody, you know, nobody buying the right players, you know, the depth there, you know, board not back in Ange, that's it. Um, Neil Beaton started on the, the other side uh, as Israel. And he also played the end of the 90 minutes in Israel's 3 2 defeat versus Scotland. Leo Abada was on the bench, and I was thinking throughout the game when it was at 2 2, I was thinking, is he going to bring Leo Abada on? And I was thinking to myself after Scotland won, I think Abada could have done something in the game. I know, I'm happy now because I'm Scottish and I, Scotland, uh, brilliant in Scotland, won 3 2 in their hopes to win, qualify for the World Cup. But, but I think Leo Abada could have done something better. Well. Carl Stafford wasn't involved in Sweden's 3 0 win over Sco uh, Cos Kosovo. And I'll be it was an used sub in Switzerland 2 0 win against Northern Ireland. And that's up to speed, guys. Um, to be honest, international duty has been quiet so far. We just want to get this unscathed. No injuries. Come back to foot, um, uh, club football on Saturday against Mull. It's a very tough game. I expect kind of to be like the Aberdeen game. Very, 
you know, not not the best of football, but I expect Celtic to kind of grind out the result that they did against Aberdeen because you know what, get the three points. It doesn't have to be pretty. As long as you get the three points, that's it. And I think I and I should will do the world good for like some players like some as I said, McGregor, Kyogo, obviously with his injury coming back to speed. He played against Bayer Leverkusen, so uh, a couple of weeks ago, the 30th of September, and he obviously played against Aberdeen. So it would be, it would be good for him to get back to you know more football, you know that stuff, come on and all that stuff. And McGregor as well, you know, it, it'll help Post Coglu, you know, um, with his team uh, coming, you know, with players coming back as well. So it'll be good. Um, as I said, my three things were in video. Uh, I would game. I think the this international break to come out of world are good because obviously Julian will be back. He won't be back to play, but he will be back to train and all that stuff. And Forrest will be back to train and all that. And Juranovic as well. So that would be good to get focus on the players that need it. You know, f- coming back from injury and all that stuff. All the other players are away. Just try and get build up a, a st- you know, a, you know, more squad depth. Where we'll go out the, se- the season goes on deeper. Sorry, whatever. You know, because it's tough games coming up. You've got Millwall away, Fens Farrows at home, that stupid kick-off time. And then you've got St. Johnson at home, away to Hibs, home to Livingston. Now, that's tough fixtures. That is very tough fixtures. Um, even the home ones, that's very tough. Um, so, uh, we'll do the world good for these, uh, Tom Logic as well. Uh, and all this international players, obviously, he can call my hazard. You know, he'll try and... Just try to get better as a Celtic keeper, you know what I mean? Um, just try and... As I said, it'll do the world do good for all the international players to get back up to speed and all that stuff and just keep working on their fitness to um, to help with this system that Ange plays in. And really, that's it. That's really what's happened over the international break, October 2021. Uh, this series will be continuing on to November's international. So, guys, I'll leave it there. Please subscribe, like. Um, the views have been great on the channel. Brilliant. Um, I'm willing to you guys to share the video out. It's been great. Skim like guys and I'll see you guys um on Friday for the match preview of the Malwell game. So until then guys, thanks for watching, subscribe and like.